Alright guys, in this video we are finally filling the 38 gallon behind me. Alright guys, as you can see the 38 gallon behind me that we have been working on for quite a few weeks now, we are finally filling it. We have the rock work in it, um, we have our lights mounted, the background, all the overflow sump and everything created on that. And I started filling it today. So what I'll go ahead and do right now is just kind of take you through how I like to fill tanks and kind of give a brief breakdown of the sump and what's underneath this tank. Not everything is set in place yet. I don't even have my Neptune Apex near ready to set up. Uh, right now I really would just like to get the system put together and get the return pump working and just have the water cycling. Nothing crazy. I do not plan to add any livestock. I'm going to hold off on that. But I'll go ahead and give you a brief breakdown now. All right, so uh, here is the setup. Basically, you know, we have the Kessels up here. Uh, we're filling it now. It takes a while to make, anybody who has an RODI unit probably understands that it does take a while to make water. So I'm in the process of doing that. But I'll go ahead and give you a brief breakdown of what's underneath the tank. I'm gonna show you what's behind it. This is kind of what's behind it. We have the overflow with the plumbing. And nothing's really neat yet just because there is a lot of stuff to change. We have the return spout with the union, um, our check valve, so we do not have any floods in the case of a power outage, but that should work. And as for underneath, this is kind of what we're working with. So, in the sump, this light is going to be getting mounted up here if I decide to use that light not even sure but for a skimmer we actually have a bubble magus bubble magnus magus magus uh, it is a c6 and sump skimmer rated for a hundred to 160 gallons it's definitely big it's good for nine and a half inches to 11 inches of water uh, right now we have it set at I believe 10 and a quarter so that should be pretty good we're running a single filter sock as our primary and then the tube back here kind of show back there that is the emergency drain tube just in case the primary would get clogged or something along the lines of that we wouldn't have to worry about any type of flooding then as for the refugium we have this nice big open area here I'm going to say that's about 12 maybe 13 gallons along with our bubble trap over here in this little compartment and then the return pump which I need to redo the plumbing because I'm not okay with it it keeps pulling the pump up and I do not like that but I'll go ahead and redo that so the sump itself like you said I'm really just wanting to get it wanting to get water to cycle I'm going to do a bare bottom uh, refugium so I'm not really concerned about putting anything in there uh, Chato and other type of macroalgae will be put in there later on But uh, yeah, that is it for right now as far as the sum There will definitely be more updates and I'll kind of show you all the little things I'm going to do to make this system a lot nicer Also for anybody wondering this is the pump that I'm using It's the DCP 4000 Chibeo, I'm not sure how to pronounce that but um, Really good pump it's definitely overkill for the tank, but it uh, is a variable speed pump, so we can turn it down, and plus it does match the overflow, so we can uh, dial down the overflow and the return pump to the desired uh, water, water flow, I guess, uh, that we want. So for the water making, basically uh, we're just filling water up with our RODI unit. I've just been kind of filling up a bucket, switching out buckets, let the other one fill while I'm dumping the water. And for the salt, we are using the Fritz Pro Aquatic RPM salt. I've used this in all my tanks, I really like it. Over here we have a, what looks like just instant ocean salt, but this is actually the Fritz Pro Aquatic in this bucket. I put that in there and I'm not, re I can't remember why it's been a while, but yeah, this is both Fritz Pro Aquatics. 
and I love them. Uh, I love the salt, great product, and highly recommend it as far as if you're going to have a reef tank. And I also don't think I ever mentioned, but somebody gave me a, a clown pair and an algae bunny with a bunch of live rock, which we are using in a 38 gallon build. And uh, a couple of pieces had like some mushrooms and rock anemones and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show them. You can actually see the tank behind me right there. That's just kind of like a quarantine. It's a very small tank for the clowns, but we're gonna get those guys in the 38 gallon as soon as possible. And then the algae blenny is really small, so we might put him in our uh, five gallon reef. I'm not sure, because uh, I know they get pretty big. But I'll go ahead and show you those guys real quick. So here's these guys. Pretty cool. Uh, they are definitely a pair. As you can see, the female on the left, the larger one, and then the male on the right. Um, and the algae bunny that is never out is chilling on the bottom there. But uh, like I said, this was all these guys were given to me. Um, the previous owner did not know what to do with them and he did not want them to die. So he ended up donating them to me because I promised them a good home. So just to give an update on the tank, it is now full, uh, the sump is filled. And I also went ahead and mounted the light while we waited. So that's kind of nice to get it out of the way. But we're gonna go ahead and get ready to turn on the return pump and start the water cycle. All right, everything is up and running. We now have the return pump on. As you can see behind here, the water is pumping pretty well. Um, that particular overflow is fairly quiet. Um, even though we have just the emergency and the primary line, and then we have the other line capped, it's still really quiet. And I do have the valve open all the way. So not too bad, really like that. As for the sump, there's a couple things I can see myself changing in the future, but for now it'll work fine. But it is filled, we have the uh, refugium section, of course our equipment, and then the return pump side where our auto top off and all that will go. So as you can see, one thing I do not like I'm going to fix is if you look at this divider, the water is going over it and falling, but not as much as I would like to. So I think what I'm going to do with that is the holes I originally drilled on this side, we will probably go ahead and drill those larger, just drain the tank enough to drill those larger. And I think that should make a pretty big difference. This is just a, another view of the holes I was talking about. You can see the original idea or the original concept here, but I think those need to be drilled out larger in order to move more water through that wall and reduce the height of the water in the refugium.